And we have indeed, and such exciting prospects for this afternoon's sunset safari. But for now, we have got uh, our herd of elephants and one tiny, tiny little baby, just a couple of months old. So still, from what I can see, it still hasn't even reached the stage of about six months old and feeding on solid food. Little baby, let's reposition and try and get a different view of them. They're playing hard to get at the moment, disappearing behind some thick vegetation. Let's try and get a different view. Mm, guys, setting the engine run a little bit. Oh no, don't. <laughs> as soon as I moved, they did. Hmm. And welcome to Amber, while we try and reposition to get a different view of our elephants who are playing hard to get. Amber wants to know, because we were talking about giraffe births earlier, whether or not elephants give birth like giraffe, do they stand or do they lie down? They stand. So it is a similar thing that, again, two meter drop, essentially. That is their introduction to the world. I have heard of elephants, sorry, I'm just going to see what these boys are doing. I have heard of elephants lying down to give birth, but it's very rare. The amazing thing, I would, I've witnessed the aftermath of a birth. I have never seen an elephant give birth in the wild, and it's one of my absolute dreams. I would, seeing that, and actually seeing it live would be truly incredible. But it is something that they generally do secretively, because of course they are relatively vulnerable when it happens, but the amazing thing is that the whole, it's a, it's a process that involves the whole family, the whole herd will be involved and they will stand in a protective circle around the female. <laughs> You've got some young boys jostling here. One of them's definitely got the advantage of height. A little bit of head butting going on. Young males roughly, I would guess at about five-ish years old just playing, testing out their strength. It's lovely to be a part of an elephant herd because you've got the protection and then you've also got some company to keep you occupied whilst the adults are busy eating. Baby elephants do get bored. And this is how they entertain themselves, practicing the skills that will stand them in good stead later in their lives. Can you imagine seeing an elephant birth live? I'm distracted by that thought now. How absolutely incredible, incredible it would be. Look <laughs> at the little one. I want to play too. Not big enough though. Let me play, let me play. <laughs> Trying to push into the fight. Curious as to what the older cousins are doing. And basically just getting in the way of what is a very good game. And they will continue to do this throughout their lives. Even adult elephant bulls often spar with each other to determine their dominance, to practice the skills that they need. It's only ever if there is a female in estrus and two relatively equal sized elephant bulls that they will actually come to serious blows. But for the most part, conflict between elephants, major conflict I mean, is rare. They're not territorial. They don't begrudge any other elephant herds sharing their space. The bulls often just wander off on their own or associate with the females. But a serious elephant fight would also be something... In I've, wit I've seen one in my life in the bush. It was awe-inspiring and actually quite terrifying to see the two behemoths charging at each other. And you can imagine it. I mean, these boys are little still. <laughs> little and unskilled. Haven't quite worked out the advantage of having a bit of height. Really makes. But you can imagine that elephant like the one that we had on the sunset safari yesterday. He came and stood over us. It was one of the biggest, to me, is the biggest elephant I have seen since on Juma or in the Sabi Sand. Just in terms of size, not tusks, just size. He was absolutely huge. And one day, these little guys will be that size. 
and then these skills will be essential. For now though, as I said, it's just a nice way to occupy themselves.